I came up with uh, my own little drum pattern. I added some more synths. Bring it in. Uh. And of course, my favorite bass, feedback bass. Yo, what's up everybody? I am Legend, your favorite traveling musician right here on YouTube. Today, finally, I'm back with another video. I'm gonna be showing you guys today how to create your own sample packs, your own sounds, your own kits and all that stuff to go about pr producing your own music without having to buy somebody else's sample packs. Now, this is the method that I used when I first got started in producing because I literally had no money. I had no VSTs, I had no sound kits. I would go to see other people's songs and songs that I thought had really good kicks or snares or loops guitars whatever it may be i basically took those sounds i sampled it myself chopped it out and it made my own loops i would flip different samples i would just do my own thing with the sounds that i cut out from other people's songs and made into my own so i'm going to show you how to do that today and this is a method that you can use whether you have a whole library of sounds or already or you don't have anything at all but especially this is for people who need new sounds who need kits and all that stuff but they don't have the money to buy packs and kits and all that stuff so i'm going to show you guys how to do that today here in GarageBand. now this method can be used with different programs like soundforge audacity and anything where you can edit audio you can do this in these methods can also be used like directly in machine you can chop up samples or ableton and all that other stuff but i'm just showing like a universal way to do it no matter what program you may have and this could be a workflow that works for you i know it works for me enough talking let's get started so basically what i do is i open up a new garage band project what we're going to do basically is it doesn't matter what you input like if it's an instrument or a vocal or anything we're not going to use that you basically just want to open up something so that you can import a song whatever song mp3 wave file whatever it may be into the project so that you can chop it up here now what i did is i just searched up lay down which is a song by ryan leslie and it has a really dope drum pattern a loop in the beginning that i really think could be sampled and restructured and reused in a different way so here's what it sounds like yeah yeah you hear that yeah Led. so that's what i'm going to be sampling today i basically had that downloaded search it up in my finder and i just drug it over here um into the project so it's right there so what i'm going to do is go to the scissors over here because we're going to be editing this track and we're going to basically cut out the parts that we want to get so that's going to be just this right here that whole first loop and then let's go ahead and duplicate this and paste it here and now we can just delete this one because we don't need that anymore here's what we have yeah yeah boom and it's just going to keep looping um however you want to chop up whatever you're using that's how you want to go about doing this so like in my case i'm going to chop this part up right now the main loop yeah right there i think that's pretty much all i'm going to need we're going to uh take this loop so in garage we go to file and make sure there's no other tracks in here because if there is it's going to export the entire song so that's the only thing that's in there once we have our loop or sound like some what i usually do sometimes is i'll go through the entire song to see all of the sounds that i want to sample from that specific song and i'll copy and paste it one after another like right here there's the first one if i found something else i'll just paste it right after but i make sure that it has breaks in there so that when i export it and put it into machine i'll see the breaks in the program and i can easily make cuts based on like visual cues instead of having to listen to um see where the loop stops and all that stuff so i leave those spaces in there for a reason but in this case i'm just doing this one drum drum loop right here which i'm going to chop up share and then export song to disc and i basically just exported it as untitled whatever so we get it right here and it's going to export as a mp3 file or an aiff or whatever you set it as right now i have it as mp3 but machine and a lot of other programs they need a wave file in order to uh, hear the sounds um just basically Play the sound into iTunes so that it's in your library. So it's in there now. And then I would come up here to file, convert, and then create wave version. And then it basically creates a duplicate version, but it's a wave file so that you can actually use that and drag it into whatever program you're using. So once I do that, I come up here to machine and drag it right over. Boom. And there's your file. Go to sampling, edit, or whatever you're using. And 
like I said, I chopped it up into multiple different parts. So you'll you'll see in here breaks where uh, there's one right here, there's one right here, there's one right here, and one right here. So I have one, two, three, four, five different or four different loops and then one like random sound effect at the end. Um, and so I can easily make cuts like that's loop right there. So I already uh, did this process and um, again, it'll differ for each and every one of you guys depending on what program you're using. But I'm just gonna go ahead and actually um, show you the loop that I just did. So basically, boom, we have the loop here that I just exported. Yeah. And I'm gonna chop this up into different pieces. So what I did was, uh, or what you can do is, for instance, if you wanna chop this kick into its own thing, I basically take this right here, cut all that out, and we just have a kick. Pretty dope, huh? And then there was also a snare in there, which is right here. Cut that part out, and we're gonna cut all this stuff out. So we have a snare. Or if you wanna like leave out these hi-hats, you can even do that. So we can cut that out and then just have a plane. Sounds pretty dope to me if you ask me. Like, I can easily use that in any one of my songs. You can save this on in your files if you want to. Um, just however you wanna like archive all your files. If you wanna have like an actual folder where you save this stuff to, like export it and save it, you can do that. Or you can just keep it in whatever program you're using. Like if it'll save this file, like for machine, once I save this particular project, it'll have this already chopped up and I can use it in just this specific song. But if you want to use your sample for another song in the future or a, a different beat that you're making, just like to have the option, you can, um, whether it's in GarageBand, like you can just chop this out and then save it as a snare instead of a loop, or um, you can even export it in here. I wouldn't recommend that because I don't know, it's just kind of productive to me. But anyway, I chopped this up already into different little sections. Um, you have the first kick, the snare, the, the other snare, next hi-hat, hi-hat and like a like a roll into the, the on incoming beat, and the same thing right here. I came up with this idea, so you guys heard what the original song already sounds like. Yeah. Yeah. So you get the vibe of what the original drum loop and, and drum programming sounds like. I came up with uh, my own little drum pattern, which I'm going to show you right now. Something like this. Now that sounds t like a totally different vibe. It's like a you about to do like a cipher, you know what I mean? The the vibe that the drums give, the the different programming. I went ahead and I laid that out. And then I added this bass right here. Yeah. Switch it up now. Uh, switch it up now. <laughs> Added some more sense. Bring it in. Uh. And of course, my favorite bass, feedback bass. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Come on, Tina, to phone, my Tina, 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 Let my number when the Jimmy Donna. I'm a nigga, leave me down, I ain't alone I don't need to go, yeah, yeah, it's got my flow so ridiculous You like it or not? Medicinal lately, you can't admit there's up in the pot You ain't got a pot, they know me, you can smoke from the block Scotty, you can play in the thing, I know, yeah You put them things in the air When I drop a single, man, it's really like a pair, uh Too easy, says important to my culture And all these other hating dudes, callate la boca Talk about the year I just had 2016 it started cool and everything just went bad It wasn't summer to forget about I hated you then December now remember how I used to love you back then Hey <laughs> So I mean you get what I'm It's a totally totally different vibe So, 
I just wanted to make this real quick video for you guys. I know it wasn't the most detailed or, or uh, you know, performing type video that I usually do. I wanted to show you how you can sample your own drum patterns, your own snares, your kicks, your hi-hats. You don't have to go and buy sample packs all the time. You can create your own stuff if you just know what to look for. The entire like first half of my production career is based on an entire sound library that I created myself. I didn't have not one purchased sample pack, not one free downloaded one i didn't have any of that stuff i started with my own little like dell computer and i would basically just illegally download music by the thousands and i would just go in there and i would sample vocals i would sample uh kicks from timbaland songs i would sample snares from kanye songs. i would sample guitars from like old beatles songs and, and and different things like that and i would flip them or or uh chop them up into a different pattern i would even take songs that were sampled already by kanye west and then resample those samples you know what i mean so um you don't need to spend money to get more sounds for your uh, beat making, for your instrumentals and stuff like that. You can create the stuff yourself if you just know what to look for. But I just wanted to show you guys who are always saying that they don't have the equipment or the sounds or all that stuff. You can do it. And I just showed you how you can do it. If you have any questions, let me know. If you like this video, please feel free to leave a like, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I would really appreciate it and it would help my videos and my channel get in front of a lot more people. Five year anniversary is on the 24th, by the way. I'm tr still trying to think of something special to do. All right, stay legendary guys. I am out of here.